Just okay, be made potent. So when is it going to happen? The, uh, well, we <laughs> don't know. Maybe this time, but I hope soon. That's uh, my goal. Do you think being a woman was one of the reasons you are not as president here right now? Well, I wrote a book about the election. It's called What Happened? And I have a whole chapter uh, about women in politics. And I think there still are some barriers to overcome. But look, I'm in a country that's had a woman leader for many years and who has done an excellent job, in my opinion. And a number of other countries have had women leaders, either prime ministers or chancellors or presidents. So we'll get there eventually. And I just hope it's sooner, not later. <laughs> and how do you feel about some just winning in Nevada? You know, it's a contest. There are many more contests to go. Um, I know from my own experience and having watched these uh, nominating uh, campaigns for a long time, you win some, you lose some, and you have to keep going. Uh, you know, um, I, I won some, I lost some, and uh, I know that's what's happening in this current contest. And when are Thanks, we going to find out who's going to endorse? Oh, I think I'll leave that to the voters. Uh, you're probably one of the most <laughs> wanted guests of this year's early nominee, and I wonder uh, how do you feel to present this on I am thrilled uh, to be at the uh, Berlinale, and I'm thrilled to be back in Berlin. Uh, it's a city that I've visited a number of times and I'm always looking forward to coming back. And the film festival is so amazing. I mean, the way that it uh, highlights films uh, from around the world, I think I was told it has the highest uh, number of uh, attendees of any film festival. So it's a, it's a very special place. The world knows you as this public figure. Mm. Now you bring a documentary with the right. title of Hillary. So what right. did you learn of this from Hillary? And what convinced you to open up and to, to mm -hmm. show some of this private uh, well, I think, I think that the uh, documentary does an excellent job in, in looking at my personal and my public lives. Uh, I think the director, uh, Nanette Burstein, was uh, very uh, effective in doing that. And part of it is, you know, having someone who you admire and uh, believe is uh, honorable and honest, like Nanette, to do the film, um, because I, I think it's important to tell the real story and not allow a lot of the you know, the myths and the crazy, you know, stuff that goes on uh, to be in any way uh, taken for the truth, because it's not. Thank There's you very much. There's footage Thank of you as a student and when Bill crossed your path. Yeah, it's, so yes. What, how was it to, to uh, uh, rediscover that? Well, uh, she actually, Nanette actually found footage I'd never seen before and uh, pulled together uh, all kinds of uh, video and, and photography that really does tell the story. So it was daunting. She interviewed me for 35 hours, which was you know a long, uh, long time to talk about yourself. Uh, but I think that the film really speaks for itself, and I hope a lot of people will uh, watch it and draw their own conclusions. I was really uh, just one question: How difficult is it to to get things done that actually help people, like how, the health? The health well, it's hard, but that doesn't mean you quit, and it doesn't mean that you give in to despair or be discouraged. In the film, uh, it shows two things. It shows, first, that I did fight for uh, getting every American uh, health care, a universal health care system, and I ran into a tremendous amount of political opposition, including being burned in effigy and being threatened. So you can tell that there's a lot of opposition to doing something that is so necessary and should be you know, just taken for granted. But it also shows that I was able then to go back and get health care for American children, so that American children at least have access to health care. So, you know, it shows the story of how hard political change is. And that's, I think, an important story, because if you're in a democracy, if you get discouraged and you give up on it, you lead, unfortunately, to voices of extremism, promising all sorts of things, instead of everybody continuing to work hard together and make progress together, which is what I believe we should be doing. Thanks, everybody. Well, we know it's already a problem. I mean, that's what just happened in uh, America. The uh, intelligence community reported that the Russians are back in our, uh, our cyber Sie war wirklich überzeugt. Sie war die First Lady, sie war eine der ersten weiblichen Senatorinnen, sie war Kandidatin und
Und jetzt ist sie die erste Frau, die nicht Präsidentin der Vereinigten Staaten ist. Böser, böser, böser. Aber so ist es. Ah, me too, me too. Yeah, <laughs> 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 